everyone. Welcome to Blue Tango Unplugged. Thankfully, I had a little extra time this weekend since the family's gone, got the room to myself, figured it's a good time to catch up on some of the games. Over at bluetango.com, I had a vote going between, let's see, what did I have? I had Luftrausers, Risk of Rain, Proteus, and the new Shadow Warrior, as opposed to the old one, the classic one. Uh, it seems like people want to see Proteus, so that's what I'm going to jump into. Probably play about half an hour, hour of it. I figured it's been a while since I did an unplugged episode, and I just want to play a game. So I'm going to jump right into that. Let's see. Should be able to just start Proteus. Hopefully it pops up. I will check the chat since there's a little lag on, on uh, Twitch at the moment. So hopefully everything appears correctly. Proteus, I know pretty much nothing about this game except for the fact that it's supposed to be very pretty. I'm not even sure if you do anything in it except for wander, but we'll see what happens. Looks like everything's showing up properly now. So I'm just going to dive right in. Assuming I know how to dive in. Okay, there we go. Okay, starting out on an ocean. I wonder if I can use the controller. I like... There we go. Excellent. So I don't have to use the keyboard and mouse just to wander. I guess I just walk over the ocean. There seems to be something in the distance, probably where I'm supposed to go. It's definitely a unique look. Very enchanting. I'm trying out the other buttons it doesn't look like I can use any of them, so I think it's just the first order of business is to climb the mountain. Very tranquil. Good uh, Saturday night game after a live show this morning. Thanks to those of you guys who did turn in, uh, tune in this morning. It's nice to actually get stuff working for a change. Last week, gotta admit, it's kind of a downer. Got stuff done, but not as much as I would have hoped, and left a few things incomplete, which, as a game designer, is kind of uh, gets under my crawl. But this week, didn't leave any stones unturned, and everything was done. I do live in Japan, so I appreciate the uh, cherry blossoms here. It's very new age. house in the distance. Something's gonna happen there. Maybe. I mean, with indie games, you can never really tell. Some indie games do make their point by not being a game. That's, you know, 
what indie people do. Starting to wonder about the people who voted for this to be the one I should play. It's quite relaxing, but it's not really one of those games you want to play in front of uh, hundreds and hundreds of people. Thankfully, I don't have hundreds and hundreds of people watching. It's quite delightful, but nothing's actually happening. Probably not supposed to be one of those games where things do happen. Probably supposed to be more of an experience. What should I do? Should I go out to the moon here and see if there's anything there? Should I go back to the island? Ah, let's just go to the moon. Let's see what happens. Let me walk on the ocean before. I guess I'm uh, magical that way. if I'm moving any further or not. Now it looks like I'm moving away from the island. Okay, I see a tree sparkling in the distance, so I'm going to assume that's where I should have gone. The little hoppy thing must have committed suicide jumping into the ocean here. Things are not as they seem on the island. Hope I find a hatch. Okay, I've got some magical sparkle dust in the distance. Let's head over there and see what's up.
can't tell if these like chirping noises are from the game. Or oh that's magic.
into a deliciously pink future. on the west coast of the states, if uh, you're watching this live, you're probably up way too late or way too early, however you look at it, and you're probably about ready to nod back off to sleep, because this is quite tranquil, and if you're not controlling it, I'm sure its hypnotic effect is even stronger. magical tree or something. Hopefully this is actually in the game and I'm not just having a fever dream. I don't know if I'm supposed to be up here or not. I'll just spark the things over here. Thank you, by the way, for picking it. as to what I'm supposed to be doing here. I think that's the cabin I saw when I first got to the island. And unless Desmond is hiding in there, I don't think anything's going to happen. Got a bunch of those cool dragonfly things. the sparkly thing, so I guess I get to go to another day. Not sure if I'm progressing forward or if this is just a, a time-based thing.
raining island. And it's fall. Ah. I think I see what's going on here now. I'm going through the seasons. First it started out with all those cherry blossoms, then it looked kind of summery with all the dragonflies. Now I've got water and leaves, so I suspect spring, summer, fall. Once I polish this off, probably winter. Let's find out. By the way, if you happen to be the developer of this game, no offense whatsoever, I do actually like this. It's very tranquil. It's quite beautiful. You've done a very nice job on the graphics. And I'm sure the experience is exactly what you intended, which is quite nice. because I have the air conditioner kicking in the back. Really, really hot today in Japan. Air conditioner, you know, blowing on my back while the rain's going off. It's creating a nice escapist uh, effect here. Doesn't feel like summer in Japan right now, which is a good thing. Because summer in Japan is horrible. Started, or are these just more of these ones? Yeah. Sun just came out. even though I wasn't really doing anything, I'm starting to suspect this is time-based. Either it's based on how much I'm moving, or it's just simply passing time. setting, so I don't even have to move, apparently. It's just kind of an... It's an experience, obviously. So, don't come in to uh, this expecting to use your shotgun to blow anything away, at least unless that happens in winter. Things can get kind of lean in the winter months. of you who are just watching me play this. Maybe it doesn't come across, I'm not sure, but it's actually quite enjoyable to just be going through this environment. Because it does have that nice, peaceful, retro quality to it. And it does feel like you're alone on an island, which is nice. If you can't take a vacation from work, probably the second best thing. the cat. 
castle again. Quick second to make sure my Twitch feed isn't cutting out on me. Okay, looks like everything's still fine. Fortunately, I don't have two monitors, I just have the one. You probably noticed when I'm doing the game development show that I look down a lot. That's because I'm looking down at the uh, laptop that I have plugged in. It's basically my work laptop, but. And I use it to check the chat because I only have the one monitor on my PC. Uh, most people that are doing this do either have a very big monitor or they have two. So I just kind of improvise here. Whoa. Okay, things just went a lot crazier than I expected them to. doesn't look like fall back home. What the heck just happened? Is that because I was up there? Or... No. Not a whole lot of living things around in the fall. Wait for that sparkle dust to show up again. I guess see it there in the distance. Maybe. Should be able to move on to uh, fourth and final season, unless it just starts me back over in spring again, which is possible. Awesome. 
walking in a winter wonderland. Okay, well this is kind of a creepy winter. The fourth season of man's life before everything grows dark. Started out with three legs, moved to two, now I'm probably, well, started out with four legs. Moved to two, now I'm on to three. Time is running out, my cabin is still locked. And things are a bit chilly. Thankfully, things are still quite pink. Kind of reminds me of... I can't remember the name of the candy, but there was like some kind of taffy candy that had these colors. It's kind of making me want that right now. Definitely a color scheme you don't see that often. One I actually like uh, because it is rather striking. I'm not going to have to crawl into one of these graves when winter's over, am I? Is that my lesson? Let's find out. That's really low cloud cover, maybe. Which represents snow, as opposed to snow being on the ground, or... Is there kind of a winter green sense now? So I think I'm in the daytime. Nothing's hopping around. Ah, oh, there we go, now I got my snow. Now Jack Frost is nipping at my nose. Good stuff. <laughs> this is quite delightful. And it's very welcome in the middle of a super hot summer. Kinda wish it would snow outside right now. Although that would probably be kind of scary in the middle of summer too. It'd be the start of a Bruckheimer movie. Let's go up into the clouds and see what happens. Can I get into them? Yep. Oh, let's take in that view. There we go. Quite the mountain climber here. Hmm. Not sure if I want to go back down into that. There wasn't anything living in winter, so not really too much point in wandering around the island, but just sitting here is probably not that exciting. So let's go over to that thing over there that I can see off in the distance. So it's kind of cooler to be under the clouds anyway. Whoa! What the heck? No, definitely not walking on sunshine. 
Okay, that's pretty awesome. That is something games have to do much, much more often. Have you walking on the clouds. This is magically where you ended up after I cut the video to prevent showing you the end. I didn't want to show you the end because that's part of the experience. So I don't want to ruin it for the developer, I don't want to ruin it for you guys, so that's why I cut the video where I did. For those of you who watched on Twitch, obviously you saw the whole thing. Thank you for watching. Uh, this has been a quick Blue Tengu Unplugged where we went over Proteus, the game. Uh, it's available on Steam and other places, so you know, check it out if you're interested and you like what you saw. And hopefully I'll catch you on another Blue Tengu Unplugged next time.